Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the new sound library feature of DaVinci Resolve 15. So if you look over on the left of the screen, there is something called sound library here that exists inside of the edit tab. Now if you go to it with a default setup of DaVinci Resolve 15, you're going to see something like no SQL database found. Or if you have already added a Postgres SQL database but haven't connected it in the sound library, you might see add library. In a minute, I'll show you guys how to set up your database so that you can use this feature. But for right now, when you actually have it enabled, you're going to be able to search through all of the sound effects that exist inside of that database by going up to the search bar at the top and typing in a keyword. So in this case, if I put in the word punch, I have a bunch of sound effects added to the library and we can see the different punch sound effects uh, listed down below. So if I click onto one of them, I can play this back as a sound effect before we actually add it to the timeline. And if we want to add it to the timeline, we simply drag and drop it. Now, at the moment, there are only two fields that you are able to search by, which is name and the description, the metadata description. And unfortunately, you can't actually see all of the sound effects by emptying out the search bar. You have to put in some kind of term. So if I was looking for balloon sound effects, we can do that, but you can't actually see every sound effect inside of the database. I'm hoping that they do change that and make a few improvements as it gets to the final release of DaVinci Resolve 15. Um, but that's how it is right now. So balloon, we can drag this balloon sound effect in and play it back. Pretty much that's the idea there. So this drop down here is selecting the database which you're searching from if you have multiple databases uh, with sound effects. And if you want to add in a new library to the database, then you can click on these three dots in the top right of sound library, hit add library and navigate on your computer to where you have your sound effects stored, hit select folder, and then it will load all of those sound effects into the DB. Now, um, the advantage of having your sound effects in a database is that you can password protect it and allow people to connect to it, even if they're on another machine. So database management is definitely outside the scope of this video, but if you want a simpler alternative to the sound library, uh, you can do things the old way as well. So in the media tab, you have media storage and you can add different locations on either your computer or network hard drives into the media storage here. And you would do that by right clicking, doing add new location. And then very much in the same way, you can just select a folder either on your computer or on your network, select it, and then it will be added on as a list over here on the left. So I added in my sound effects folder, which includes subdirectories like the sound effects pack three. And you can actually see all of these sound effects that you might want to drag into your video, which you can just do by doing a simple drag and drop. And now that it's in the media pool, we can go to the edit tab media pool and it's going to be there. So in most cases, I think the media tab is going to be simpler than just using the sound library. But if you do want to set the sound library up, this is how you're going to be able to do it. So for right now, we're going to close out of DaVinci Resolve. I will not save this project. And now we restart the program. So I'm going to click on my DaVinci Resolve icon here on my taskbar. So now that we get to the splash screen of DaVinci Resolve, you may or may not see this side panel over here. If you don't see it, then you need to click on this little icon to the left of projects here, which is going to open up the databases tab. Now your local database is going to be basically all the stuff you have on your computer, but post grade SQL are these databases that you and other people can connect to uh, with passwords. So it's basically another way of sharing files across different computers all in one centralized location. So you can set the database up on your own computer. It doesn't need to be on a special server somewhere necessarily, as long as when you installed DaVinci Resolve 15, you did install Postgres SQL, or if you haven't done that, you might need to add it in manually, or you could just rerun the installer and make sure that you get uh, this feature installed. But in any case, I have one database here, which is the one I set up for this tutorial. But in order to force us to have to redo the steps, I'm going to right click and disconnect this database for right now, and then we'll add a new one in. So uh, currently I have no post gray SQLs added in. So I'm going to go down to the bottom left here and hit new database to create one on this machine. 
So if you already have one of these databases somewhere on your network, uh, then you would just put in the information here to connect. But if we're creating one on our machine, you go over to the create tab. And I'm just gonna call this uh, tutorial sound library. The database can be used for more than just sounds. For, for instance, you can actually store your project files on those databases. I'll leave this information as defaults because uh, we're not really gonna do anything too important with it. And I'll hit create. So now after doing that, we let the database get created, which will take just a minute. And then it should pop over here on the left with this list. So if we click on this, you'll see that there is a list of projects here. Currently there's no projects, but I'm actually going to keep storing the projects on the local database disk of my computer, which I believe is just the DaVinci Resolve standard folders. So let's go ahead and open a new project. So just checking untitled project. And now uh, we're going to get this message, no library connected uh, for the sound library. Now, once again, if you haven't properly set up the database or connected to your database, you're going to see something like no database is found, no PostgreSQL databases uh, found or connected. But in this case, there is one. So what we need to do is add a library to that database, assuming that none already exist in it. I'm going to go to documents, sound effects, and this can be any folder on your computer, by the way, just wherever you store your sound effects. And I'm going to add in this sound effects folder and you should see something like sound library scan successful added 30 out of 30 clips uh, from the network location. So from there, you're going to get this library window to pop up successfully. Now, once again, I really think the weaknesses here is that without actually typing anything into search, you can't see the sound effects, at least in the DaVinci Resolve 15 beta. And you can only filter by two different fields, name and description. But assuming you have named sound effects in the library or massive library, you can quickly filter them all by typing in either something from the name, something from the description, or if we leave the filter by all fields, either of those. So in this case punch balloon whatever sound effects you actually have in those folders will work fine and once again we just drag those onto our timeline and we can use them in our video so that's the gist of sound library as it currently is in the davinci resolve 15 beta so that's going to be it for the sound library as it is in the beta version of davinci resolve 15 i've been chris thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my future video content